What's up everybody? Iconic Repaints here. I want to take a look at the brand new Iron Studios 110 scale Scorpion statue. He's always been probably my favorite character ever since I was a little kid and probably is the flagship character of the entire franchise. You can tell here they went with a old school OG Scorpion, probably Mortal Kombat 1 where all the outfits and everything was very simple. You see the famous quilt like pattern on his ninja garbs uh, in, included with a very cool nether realm based base. Very simple aesthetic. I really really enjoy seeing what they're doing with their Mortal Kombat line. I think for fans of the series it's probably a must. Like if you're a diehard fan of the series it's a perfect collection to get into. They all look really good so far and I think they're really going to kind of take a deep dive into the old school throwback aesthetic which I think is going to look great with each other. You see Scorpions in a very museum pose, not very action based. I think the Sub-Zero statue is more dynamic than this but I actually like this for what it is. I think Scorpion looks even more menacing, more imposing as he's kind of just standing there holding the spear um, in a very confrontational manner, very composed calculating and I think it suits him very well uh, the rope is made of actual rope and I like the way it kind of like ties around his wrist it's not sculpted in it looks a little more realistic and of course the spear is dipped in some um, I guess it's supposed to be blood stained on the spear I don't know the shading of the blood color looks a little weird to me um, I don't know could just be me but I would have went a little darker red I believe but this is how it matches up against the prototype which was a lot more bloody of a spear but other than that I think it actually holds up well from prototype to production piece of course some lighting and uh, camera effects will make it look somewhat different but overall pretty pleased with the way this translates uh, of course you know 110 scale you're kind of always worried about accuracy but with this you don't really have to worry about that too much half of his face is um, covered in his mask and hood and then the eyes you don't have to worry about eyes looking uneven or anything like that because his eyes are just blotted out white maybe a little too strong white but I, I think for this it works because it's based on a video game character not so much a realistic uh, take on him so as you see the face up close the eyes they're very very dominant but again you want those eyes to pop for a video game based scorpion it's if it was movie scorpion maybe a little different but this works uh so here's a better look at the base uh, a lot of skulls and entrails i guess and i think that's the ribs back so scorpion's probably done some serious damage already as he normally does it's like a master of fatalities and again uh, i think even as uh the brand netherrealm studios i think scorpion is pretty much the mascot and with a badass name like Netherrealm Studios, of course, you know, Scorpion has to have a badass reputation to uphold himself. Uh, I, Scorpion, I think, is always, I've always really enjoyed the, the yellow color on top of the black layers um, of the ninja outfit. I think it really is a really nice contrast. I think he's kind of always been the best looking of the ninjas. Maybe Red Pals out there as well. I think he's, he's always looked great too, but... Um, yeah, I mean, you really can't go wrong for, again, for Mortal Kombat fans. If you're interested in this line, I highly suggest getting the, getting this guy. You can't have a Mortal Kombat line without Scorpion himself. And for the price, it's uh, to me, it's, it's a no-brainer. I wouldn't pass on this guy at all. Like I said, he's new. It took a while for him to come out. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, stay tuned for more. Everybody be safe. Peace.